Hello all. Today we'll be discussing about hierarchical mean clustering in tuition. We'll try to understand what is the maths behind hierarchical mean clustering. Sorry, hierarchical clustering. In our previous video, we have already seen something about k means clustering algorithm. But in this particular video, we'll try to understand what is the maths behind hierarchical clustering. And hierarchical clustering is one of the very good unsupervised machine learning that works similar to a k-means clustering, only the technique is completely different. So this is my hierarchical clustering. Just let me remove all these things. So this is my hierarchical clustering. Now for this hierarchical clustering, how it works is that, as I said that this is my unsupervised machine learning technique. This is the unsupervised machine learning technique. So initially, I'll be having some points so this point, suppose I mark it as in this black points, right? Now you can see that I just have six points over here. Now what does what does it happen with respect to the six points? In hierarchical clustering, first of all, you try to find out each and every points are basically specified as different clusters initially. So these all are different clusters, okay? Now what will happen is that we'll try to find out the two nearest point or the two nearest cluster in this, since we are considering each and every point as a single cluster. So suppose these two points are very nearest and these two points I want to specify in the right hand side and another diagram which is called as dendogram. So this is basically called as dendogram. In the dendogram, in the x-axis I have points, in the y-axis I have distance. Now, if I am considering this two point and I name it as P1 and P2, suppose if I draw P1 and P2, and suppose the distance between this is 0.5, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to combine this and this will be 0.5. So this is one type of dendrogram that we have created for P1 and P2. Then after that, we'll try to find out the distance between this cluster and this point and try to find out which are the next nearest point and from that I found out that these two are the nearest point and here I get specify this as P3 and P4 right so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to define my another point that is P3 and P4 and suppose this distance is somewhere around 1 so I'm going to combine this and this distance will be 1. So now currently I've got two groups still they are points and this again we have found out that these are the next nearest point. So suppose I make it as P5, P6, then again I will be having something like P5 and P6. And suppose I calculate the distance, somewhere here it is coming around 1.5, suppose this is 1.5, so I have combined this. Then finally I will try to find out which will be the nearest clusters to this and suppose I found out that these two clusters are very very near. So what I am going to do, I am going to combine these two clusters. Right, where I have points like P3, P4, P5, P6 and I can combine this together like this where my distance is actually 2. Finally, I'll combine this whole group as one cluster where I'll include P1 and P2 because these are my next nearest point. Suppose this is 2.5, this P1 and P2 will get connected here. So this is how my dendrogram looks like, right? But what is the main aim? Just remember guys, this is an unsupervised machine learning technique. And our main aim is to basically find out that what should be the exact number of clusters should I use in order to classify my point properly. Not classify, instead group my points properly. The clustering works basically on the similarity of the data, right? Similarity of the data is basically that we are calculating over here with respect to the distance. And this distance is measured by something called as Euclidean distance. In my previous video also, I've disclosed about Euclidean distance. So this formula is basically given by if I have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, I can give value. I can give it by square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this will be the distance between two points, p1 and p2, which is represented by x1, y1, and x2, y2. Now the next thing is that how can I find out the number of exact clusters that I need to classify this problem? So there is a simple hack that is used. This hack is nothing that we need to find out how many groups we need to find out the longest vertical line such that none of the horizontal line passes through. So I can't consider this particular line because there is a horizontal line that passes through this particular point. Similarly, I can't consider this line also because there is a horizontal line passing through this point. 
okay so similarly i can't consider this i can't consider this i can't consider this also because there is a horizontal line passing through it there's a horizontal line passing now i can consider this particular line because this may be the longest line compared to all the others so what i do is that i'll draw a straight line that passes through this particular point and i'll try to see how many points it is passing through. so there are two points that is it is passing through so i can specify that the number of clusters that i can use for this problem is basically two. and this is the hack basically used for dendu guys like this is just a rough diagram your clusters may also get changed to three that depends on like how many points it is passing as soon as i find out the longest vertical line and once i am able to do this i'll use an sk learn and try to use this hierarchical clustering and i'll be able to group this whole data into two clusters based on similar based on euclidean distance so this was the whole idea about hierarchical clustering i hope you like this particular video guys and uh, please subscribe the channel if you are not already done and uh, keep learning i'll see you up in the next video thank you one and all have a great day